I study public financial management and survey methodology, and particularly interested uh, this season in uh, political polling. The best polls are random. You would have the same chance as anybody else in the country of being selected if the poll is truly at random. Now, there are polls you opt in on a website. Those polls tend to be a little less accurate. Let's say Twitter, for example, we might see Twitter polls out there. But the thing is, not everybody is a member of Twitter. Not everybody uses Twitter. So when we see a Twitter poll, that's going to probably not be quite as representative of the, of the United States population as what you'd see as a true random sample poll. We have polls that are nationwide, and we see those often in national news or even local news. We see that Vice President Harris or former President Trump is ahead in the polls by one or two percent nationwide. The thing is, we don't elect presidents on a nationwide popular vote. We use the Electoral College, and because of that, even if the polls show that a candidate is, is ahead, they may in fact win the popular vote, but could potentially lose the election through the Electoral College. So paying attention to those swing states is particularly critical because those states essentially will decide our election. The basic thing that you, hopefully everyone looks at in a poll is that the methods are clearly disclosed. So if you look at a poll, whether it be on a website or you see it on TV, you should see some information about how that poll was conducted. How many people did they survey? Who did they survey? How did they select those people? Was it through the phone? Was it you know, online? You should see a, a disclosure of the methods that poll used. And again, and again I, I can't stress this enough, it's also really important that polls are, in fact, random sampling. If we see a poll that's not random, that's likely not going to be a, a very, very good predictor of the election.